In this video, I'm going to show you how to format charts in Crystal Excel CS. Now, I'll be working with a line chart here, but just know that the techniques that I show you here apply to all chart types in Crystal Excel CS. Now, there are many people that have come up to me and ask me how to format charts in Crystal Excel CS because they're Excel users. They're used to being able to right click on each object in the Excel chart and formatting the structure or the properties of that particular object. But you have to remember in Crystal Excelsius the component is an object in itself and you can't really have an object within an object. If you right click on the Crystal Excelsius component all you get is these particular choices and the best you can do is go to properties. Now this is where I come to the point. The point is these particular things that you see in Crystal Excelsius aren't objects, they're properties of this particular object. So if you want to change anything on the particular chart, on a, a Crystal Excelsius chart, you have to change the properties of the chart. So in order to demonstrate this, I did create this line chart and I've created it right off the bat. I haven't done anything to it yet, so this is how it came out looking. It looks okay, I guess, but you know, I, I want it to look a little bit different, a little bit cleaner, and so I'm going to do a couple things. The first thing I want to do is change the scale on this. Change the scale on uh, Crystal Excelsius chart is actually pretty easy. What I want to do is I want the scale to start at 100,000 because uh, none of my data points go under that anyway. So I'm going to double click or on the uh, particular chart component and go to Behavior. The behavior tab holds the scale behavior section. The scale behavior section allows you to change the scale behavior of your particular chart. I'm going to go to manual scale and it's got a maximum and a minimum. My minimum, let's say, is 100. Well, I got to change my maximum first. You always have to change your maximum first. Let's say my maximum will be $300,000. And my minimum is going to be a hundred thousand. Okay? So now you see real time you can see your chart changing. Perfect. Next thing I want to do is change the size of my X and Y axes because I don't like the way that my months are going sideways. So again I'm going to double click on here and go to the appearance tab. Now the appearance tab has several sub tabs on it. There's theories, Y, X, titles layout. Each one of these sub tabs handles a different section of your chart or a different part of your chart. So the first thing I'll do is I'll tackle the size of my Y axis. So my Y axis sub tab has several selections on it. And you can actually kind of go through this and play with this stuff and it's all fairly intuitive. Uh, what I want to do is say vertical axis labels. I want to change it from 14 to 10. And there you go. You see it changed. This is good. So now I'm going to go up to the X axis sub tab. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. Show labels to 10. So now that looks pretty good. Perfect. Now what about titles? I got line chart and sub uh, sample subtitle. Now the actual title names go on the under the general tab. Chart title. Let's just say this is going to be called my chart. Okay, subtitle month, right? Uh, again, you get the idea. But if you don't want the title at all, you can hit delete. Okay, you get that idea? Let's just say I want my chart. And then I can go under appearance, go to under titles, and I can mess with the title a little bit. I could say I want the title to be 24 font, bold, I want it to be blue, all kinds of good stuff. Now, I can go down here and go to Legend. Now you'll see this legend, North, Midwest, South, and West. I can either show the legend or not show the legend. And you'll notice that you can toggle it on or off. I can change the size of the legend. And I can actually have it show a border, maybe a border and a fill. So you, you get the point here. And the placement, I can place it at the bottom, at the left, or at the top. Let's say I want to place it at the right. So that's good. Now what about the data series themselves? Well, data series themselves are obviously under the series tab. And these data series, you can actually change the colors of each series by selecting each series separately. So you have a section here called series. If I select the Midwest series and I change that to red, that particular series becomes red. 
and if I change the marker to an X, I can do that. Now I can hit use custom color and I can actually change the, the color of the marker too. And I want to change that to red also. Or I can hit show markers to remove the markers altogether. Makes it a nice cleaner looking chart. Let's say I do like the markers, but I want to show them at a smaller size. I can do that by selecting marker size 10. So hopefully you're starting to get the point that each particular item on your chart is not necessarily an object, but they're all properties of the bigger chart object. So in order to change things on your chart, you're going to have to go through your chart object properties and actually find the particular property that has to do with the area you're trying to change. And that way you can actually change and format your chart to make it look like the way you want it to.